Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back. And right now, we are um doing some more Rise of Kingdoms. I'm, I'm gonna give you some guys some tips. So, and if you're going into your first KVK, but even though I'm not level 25, I still have some tips. So, so if you want to level up, I would say, um, I would say hoard as much of you must as your resources as you can because of one two reasons because two because the first one is if you get zeroed you're gonna have to you and you had all your resources laid out there and you don't have your um and you don't have your storage storehouse full fully maxed because because of it, many reasons. If you have it to, if you have it to this, like level, like say level 15, you only have a max amount of capacity for different things. So like if I was over here, I was at level one, I would only have that much capacity to protect my stuff, my resources. So I would say to keep, hoard all your resources and that, and yeah. And also, if if you get zeroed, you can you have more resources to heal your troops and to get yourself back up to that amount of level that you were before. Um. Also, so another reason another reason why you should hoard your stuff is because of speed ups. You don't want to use these right away because, like, don't use your um. Healing speed ups that much because in KVKs you're going to be constantly using spending up your troops. So you will be if you all use these all, then you will um have you would have no speed ups. And if you're really in a dire situation and you can't and you can't heal your troops as fast, you you might just get zeroed at that point. And, and I would say keep teleports. One reason why is because if you're getting zeroed or getting rallied, you can use a random teleport or a teleport to get away from them or away from that rally attack. So, and also if you, if there's a big, if there's a big thing that's happening, you can teleport over here. So, yeah. Like you could teleport somewhere else if say I was right here and I was getting rallied and, and I was getting zeroed I could teleport Over here by my ally by my um, allies so So yeah Also um, Make sure your hospital is like at Make sure you constantly level up your hospital so in case you actually do potentially get um zeroed you don't have a bunch of troops dying because your hospital is so super filled so yeah um also um don't spend your action points right away the reason why is because if you can all always consume your action points you and you wouldn't you will not have as much action points because Teleporting sometimes you would have to re Get your troops back so you would have to move them out so that would take more Action points so like I will put my troops. I'll put my troops Right here real quick just to demonstrate so like they're say that like right here And there's people like coming you're gonna go away from them. So it's gonna take you more Time. And it's, say like you're starting to attack them, it's gonna take up more action points too. So yeah. Um. Also. And also. Um. Really. Like level up your commanders as as much as you can, really, because. 
Because if you level up your sculptures as much, I mean, if you level up your commanders as much as you can, you can deal more damage and you can do that. So, like, and don't invest on too many commanders at once that you can't, like, handle. Um, say, go on and only have one and invest a lot of stuff over time so say like i was investing in minamoto and also i have had an invest in sun, sun, tzu, sun tzu, Ko, 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 and a lot of others so that's why you should always like make sure to um keep your thing keep wait what was i just gonna say oh fuck um to to um keep total um your xp bucks on you but i would not say like level up all of them at the same time like and also push as far as you can into the um expeditions because you can get a lot of resources every day every single day and if you do that it would be just way better okay so yeah and oh yeah not uh, this one so like if you're a farmer and also you can actually have a farm account so what i have is a farm account right here so i'm gonna go in here and show you so on my main account that's the one that i do more stuff with so that my farm account my farm account is more morally for support so that's what it is really because because also wait what was i just gonna say fuck i keep on forgetting What was I just gonna say? <sighs> what was I just gonna say? Um, to... So, you wanna have a farm account. So, like, you would... Don't want it to keep it, like, a certain level. Because when you're going to KVK... When you're going into KVK... You're gonna need that farm account. So, you can't... Really, it's... It will sometimes like teleport you to different spots. So, say I was in, say we were in KVK right now. I needed my farm account to travel with me to the Lost Kingdom, and it was only level, it was only level 11. I cannot get my farm account into KVK because it is not level 25. It has to be level 25 to be able to um, enter Lost Kingdom. So that's why some people always spend time on their farm accounts. And I'm starting to um, work on my farm account even more than my main because I'm trying to get it to a high level before the next KVK. Because if I get my main account level 25 and I enter the Lost Kingdom, I will have to um, try and I will have to try to get as much resources as I can. But with a farm account, I would have a lot of other resources that I can have on that account, and I wouldn't have to go back. I wouldn't have to use my resources and, that I've been hoarding for a long time. So yeah. Um also um train your troops daily. So that might be like well I already do that. Well, why I would say train your troops daily is because of one reason is that if you gain more troops, you have more accessibility to um troops in in battles. So say like I had a lot of um T3 and t4 and t5s well um and i lost all my t5s and then i had down to half of my t4s i would still have a lot in reserve 
because of t tier three so and also make sure to level up your um your um training train level up your um troop training level up your troop training stuff so you can get more troops because in kvk you're gonna be constantly constantly using uh, using um troops and in rallies when you're rallying fortresses there is going to be a lot of zeroing and yeah so there's gonna be a lot of chaos they're gonna there's will be like they will swarm you they will like try to stop you from doing something in a war so yeah um those are my tips but also i'm gonna give i'm gonna do some more tips and guides on how to level up um faster in rise of kingdom so yeah have a great day and uh, by the way i hadn't i didn't have my mic on i don't know if you guys heard me last video but happy birthday sophom soph Soften. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but anyways, happy birthday. I just want to say that, but anyways, guys, peace out. Bye!